Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm doing some work on the twin 95 XP 800s. The one with the, uh, the all white one is the 787X motor. This is the X engine. And the other one's your standard 800. Um, supposedly this one was rebuilt a few years ago and they had it, they painted it black while they was out. There was no tag on it. Supposedly it was it's supposed to be an X motor, but I don't know exactly how to tell Someone said there's supposed to be a stamp somewhere on the jug And I don't know where it's supposed to be at But there's a stamp on the jug that's different um, It's a marking But anyway I've got some paper towels in the holes while I clean the gasket material off. We are putting brand new gaskets, exhaust gaskets on them. So we got the manifolds off. We're going to be cleaning up all this residue. And then we'll get them back together and then we'll paint it with the manifolds on. Um, but we'll clean them all up with some degreaser and wipe them down to get them blow them down get them all good and clean first um, I cut my oil lines to leave some lines on there for plugs as you can see Rotary valves look good um, Blades I covered them up with some Masking tape to keep any dust from getting in there while I have that off I took the only reason I took these off is so I can inspect them and so I can clean the uh, or the gasket mates at it clean that area easier so I got a big mess here um, the 800 had this gray one that pretty much came off in one piece or the 787 had this one that came off in one pretty much one piece the rebuilt one had this red gasket um, which came off in chunks as you can see uh, we'll be putting new stators in both of them. I got to order those from Nick at OSD Marine. Um, I'm also going to replace the bellows. I'm not going to touch the blades. The blades look good in them. They need cleaning, as you can see. Um, but this one needs the new. Uh, I'll probably upgrade these, assuming this is still stock. But it's 800. I'm going to have to check to make sure that the new blades don't hit i'm not sure if there's a difference between that these here as well they look good they just they're just dirty they don't have the grooves in them so they're not the new style um but my my worry is since this one's rebuilt and that one's an x motor if i buy new raves to replace them i'm going to have to get them trimmed so we're going to run these for now um, and we'll just re rebuild the bellows and um, o-rings and gaskets um, and we'll get them cleaned I'm gonna buy me a nice um, sonic ultrasonic cleaner to clean them in um, but yeah I got a mess here so I've been taking apart stuff keeping stuff separate for the X and the 800 but like I said we'll get new stators in them probably after we paint them um, to, because it I'm not sure when they'll arrive. I still have to order them. But we'll get them all cleaned up. We'll get some primer on them. Um, I'm going to throw on some Rust-Oleum Automotive Primer. This is the flat light gray. And we'll be doing them with white. I'm going to be doing them a gloss white Rust-Oleum. Just gloss white. So, the uh, stock color is kind of an off-white, as you can tell. It's, it's not exactly gloss white. It's kind of an off flat white. Some people, I know some of the engines have more of a, like an almond, or what's it called, uh, it's a, an ivory white, where it's even a little more yellowish. Um, but I'm going to go with the all white and purple. We'll do the exhaust pipes purple and um they'll match these 
debating whether or not I should uh, get these sandblasted and maybe the company in town that does powder coating, maybe they can match that purple. I do not know. But at very least, we will get them, maybe get them sandblasted at least and use this purple spray paint. Um, this is also from Walmart, this Rust-Oleum gloss, gloss purple. There's the barcode. Um, this is what I use for all the other pipes. It's pretty dang close to the stock um, color, at least on the GTI and GTXs I've done. Um, so, I had my 290, my two XPs out here, I had them on the water today. Had some issues. Uh, the bellows on the 951 came loose. I'm not sure if it's the spring, um, but it's got the old style bellows. I'm gonna swap them out with some green ones and some new um, new springs. And the 96 XP I started up last week and had some uh, it ran fine. But then went to go to before I went to the lake. It, the key wouldn't register. It wouldn't register. Nothing worked. No power or anything. So I so I swapped in the whole gray box from another um, XP project or another 800 project. And it fired up and worked. Um, and then to, and I went out riding last week, rode just fine. Today I went out, same thing. I went out, rode a little bit, and then it just lost all power. Um, turns out it was the um, red 10 amp fuse in the in the black box. This one here, 10 amp fuse that had. That had burned out on me. So I put that back in it, and then it started started up, but it was revving weird, like it was hitting a limiter. And I've had that problem before with the rectifier, so I pulled the gray box up again and disconnected the red wire from the, from the rectifier, and now she idles just fine. So I need to get a new rectifier for that. So I'm gonna be ordering that from OSD. But the old gray box that was in it, which I think might be a bad MPIM or CDI, uh, for now I'm just going to steal the rectifier out of that and put in this one. So at least I can ride. Um, so yeah, and between the two two skis and the three jugs, uh, gas was, uh, premium gas was like 5 something, 539, 540, I don't know. All I know is it was like 24 gallons, it was like $132. And I was only got to ride. See, I took off on the yellow one out there, and as soon as I got in pretty close to the middle of the lake, it died on me. So I had to get a tow back after about 10 minutes of swimming. Someone finally came and helped me. Um, and then I rode this one for about 20 or 30 minutes. Um, then, as I was coming to shore, it started to lose power. It would go, but it just, I thought maybe the spark plugs were fouled um, from running premix. Um, but after I dove into it, I saw oil leaking from the um, ray valves. As you can see, I got oil in there. And oil down there. We had it hit, ran down. So, I, um, I'm going to take these all apart again. And um, swap on those green bellows. So that's on my to-do list. So right now we're going to work on this. I'm going to strip some stuff off of it. I've been stripping bolts and everything else um, off of that. And I'll take these boots, co boot covers off. I got the bolts for this. I took this off to inspect some stuff inside. Um, but we'll use the, we'll bolt that back up and um, we'll clean it all up and we'll, uh, Get them primered, and I'm gonna put all new socket heads in there. So I'm gonna replace these hex heads with socket heads, like I did on the uh, 95 uh, 951 out there. So, also this one's got a black starter. I don't know if it's if it was a white one or painted black. I don't know. We'll take it off and inspect it and see if it's a OEM that was just painted black or if it's an aftermarket black. 
otherwise I'm going to, to I've got a bad 801 or OEM one that I'm going to rebuild so we'll swap that in there <coughs> so yeah these will look really nice when I'm all done so I'm going to add to this video once I get them all primed up so stay tuned for that Okay guys, I'm adding to this video. We've got them all primered up using that flat flat gray primer. They look pretty good. Got them all masked up. Got them all primered. I wish I had a way to hang them so I can get the bottoms real good and right now I'm just tipping them over back and forth but yeah they look pretty good so the next clip I'll add once I get some white paint on them we'll let them cure overnight and throw some white paint on them in the morning it is currently 1.30 in the morning technically or 1 30 at night so i'm burning that midnight oil getting this getting these things done guys and i gotta work on cleaning up this mess so many projects so many tools so i'll add to this video later Okay guys, we're back here. Just got the first coat of white paint on them. Didn't go too thick on it. I'm gonna do probably three coats. But so far they look pretty good. I got a few runs in the primer and a few spots. But they're looking pretty good. Trying to get it all up in all the nooks and crannies, all the dark spots where it's hard to get, hard to see, and you got to get at different angles to get up to, especially up in there and up in there. But they're looking good. So I'll do a few more coats and do some more video clips of this project of the engines getting painted. So stay tuned for those. Okay guys, we got three good coats of white on them. Oh, I missed the masking tape. I've been taking the masking tape off as it's drying. Um, okay, we got three good coats on them. I moved it out to the sh wheeled it out to the shed where it's a little hotter, so hopefully it'll dry faster. I got the starters hanging out back, got them primed and painted. So yeah, they look pretty good. We'll get them dry. We'll get our oil lines ran, get that bled or primed. And then we'll work on rebuilding the carbs. Um, but for now we got to get the holes flipped upside down so we can buff and polish those then we'll flip them back over stick the engines in so they're out of the way and then we'll wet sand and buff and polish the top of the holes so making some good progress man they look nice don't they nicest they're ever going to look once I get in the engine they'll get a little dirty and then they'll get a little oily this is the best they're ever going to look
wish I had my engine hoist here and had some of those hooks or something I'd use to get some spark plug holders and hang them. I've been kind of tipping it side to side so it, they've got some rough spots on the bottom but that's not going to be seen so man they look nice and new way better than before so that's going to be it for this engine painting video update on the twin 95 xp 800s thanks for watching guys stay tuned for more for these projects